right guys, so today we're going to cover high efficiency mining. So there's this progression of mining in Tekkit where you progress from your normal vanilla let's go investigate some caves and explore and have fun mining to okay I'm tired I just want all my iron let's go. And that stage of mining is called high efficiency mining. So what high efficiency mining is you go down to a particular level where you want the material you it, or where the material you want is most likely to be found. So we'll be digging at 12, because that's where a lot of iron, redstone, and diamond are. And you don't have to worry about falling into lava quite as much. So the whole purpose of high efficiency mining is to expose as many underground blocks as you can while using up as little space as possible. So I'm going to be showing you an underground scheme that's it's not too terribly efficient, but it is better than normal mining, and it's easy to do. So this is my mine shaft down. You can put this in your house. I do this for aesthetic reasons, so three tall, because uh, I don't like to be feel claustrophobic while I'm walking around in Minecraft. And it just goes down. I have this two gap wide block here, and more importantly, I have this three by three block in the middle. So. At some point, you're going to make the electric jetpack. And this is a wonderful tool. I have a lap pack equipped. So you equip your jetpack. Your jetpack has two modes it's got normal mode, and it's got hover mode. So in hover mode, you fly slowly and you fall slowly. So falling slowly, don't take any damage. So what we do is we build this 3x3 three three thing here. Uh, before you get the jetpack, your other option is. I mark the side I don't want to fall down on with a torch. I dig a big hole, I fill it with water, and I just fall in. I stay away from the torch. I land safely in the water, and I would swim to the surface and get out. And if I were not in creative mode, I would survive that, so I'm just going to quick demonstrate that. Take my jetpack off, take off creative mode, pray to god I don't die, and save. So for the low-tech mining, that is an easy way to get down there. And obviously, as you saw, once you have your jetpack, you can just quickly traverse up and down this. And now we'll get on to the mining. So I do build my stairwell so they go down counterclockwise so that I can always keep my torches on the left because I'm a torch on the left guy. Uh, I started the mine already. so. I always build a central area where I enter first. We'll turn on creative mode. And I build my mine out from here. So I'm going to leave a two block gap between my stairwell and my mine, I guess. One, two, and then I'm going to count out ten. One, two, three, four, all the way down to ten. And I will be navigating using the coordinates on my mini map. So. This is 160. I'm going to go out to 170. Bam. And then I go over 1, 2. I would start my first digging column here. Then I would leave a 2 or 3 space gap and do the next one. And this goes pretty quickly. So I'll just. Well, first I'll show this. So I make this 10 deep, and we left that 2 space gap earlier so that I would have 2 spaces between here the end of my mine shaft and my other mine shaft. We're counting this as part of the mine shaft. So that would let me see this block from this side and these blocks from this side. Now obviously I don't see this block, but if there is an ore deposit there, it's fairly likely that it will be one of these three blocks also. So as you can see, I can see the nickelite deposit from here. And I would investigate that, and I would dig over and I would find it. And if you ever find diamond, make sure to excavate around it because sometimes there is diamond you just can't see. So one, two, one, two, ten. So I am at 170. I would dig down to 160. And obviously, I would not be in creative mode when I do this. I would be using either a diamond drill or a pickaxe or something. And as you can see, I do. I am in this enormous room, and it's got lots of ore in it. So I would, I would actually come up here and dig out all this ore. I'm also playing in peaceful mode so there's no monsters. Because I don't want them interrupting. 
So we go down. I build these square rooms just to serve as references. I put torches along the main. When you're lost in your mine, obviously the rooms with all the big mining shafts in them are not the way back. They're this way. And if I dug out this, there would be stuff in this direction. So that's the first leg. All you have to do now is figure out how far out to go for the next one. So one, two, I want to go out to 180 here. Uh, just ignore the lava. And then I'm going to leave a two gap. Normally I wouldn't do it this way. So I'm at 183 now. I want to go out to 193. Oh, I was right earlier. And obviously destroying diamonds should make you cringe. So I'm only at 193, so this room I actually missed. It should be here. Bam. And we'll get into how I made that. And this is really the basis of my pattern. I do have a nice Photoshop here of it. So you leave a two-space gap in between your sections. This is the stairwell down, this main area I showed you, the 3 by 4 room. 3x3 three three rooms, and the distance between the 3x3 three three rooms is constant. So from this middle point to the next middle point should be 10 to 10 minus 1 plus 1. So it's either 23 or 21. And that's out, obviously. You shouldn't look at my Facebook. So there's that. And you'll figure it out as you go. Uh, so that's kind of the bare bone basics, and now we'll go on to how to improve it, because once you dig out a whole bunch with your tool, you get bored really fast. So we're going to move on to using the mining laser, and the mining laser uses a lot of power, so you're going to want a lap pack to go with it, or else you'll be making a lot of trips to charge it. So you take your mining laser, you hold down whatever your uh, function or mode button is. I'm going to set it to long range first. And the way long range works is it does exactly as it says. So I'm going to break these. And I'm going to, I like to have a five gap range before I shoot because you have to be very precise with the mining laser or you'll get crooked shots. I'm going to aim at the middle of this block, right click, and it's going to go. And as you can see, I was a little bit low on that shot. And now we'll just go look. So because I was low, I did miss out on these last seven blocks. And same thing down there. But when you upgrade to the mining laser, don't even worry about counting. Just, you know, I'll go show it down on this end. I mean, with the mining laser, high efficiency mining becomes a joke. Uh, it drops everything it hits, but there is a chance you'll break it. So I think there's like a 2% chance you'll break it. Any block you hit, and you just won't get it. So again, we repeat. There's gravel in the way. Gravel's a pain. obviously this exact reason. But as you can see, that digs out uh, 126 to... So that digs out about 20 blocks. And then you just repeat. So I want to... This is my three thick column. I don't think I have to worry about hitting my stairwell from here, so I'm just gonna dig out that way. Look at all this diamond. Oh gosh. I'm going to break this, and bam. And as you can see, lots of material. I did miss a little bit on that last shot, so it went underground. And then, really, you just do it again. Bam. Bam. You run down here. I would pick ores up with the drill, or you can set this to short range. 
low focus and just zap them. But you will occasionally destroy things when you do that. So that means they won't drop, they'll just lose it forever. But sometimes the convenience is worth it. I mean, look at all this stuff I'm getting already. I found two tungsten, two diamond, two coal, 25 redstone, and I haven't even been picking it up as I find it. And that's the whole secret. That's all you have to do. Uh, make sure that when you do do this, like, y you'll have to make this hallway twice as long before you dig out your next one. Because this row that we just blew up should be right here. Yeah, so you'll want to go out a little further before you repeat. And then, depending on how you want to do it, you could just go here, bam, bam, and then just always keep digging in this direction. And that's up to you. And as you can see, I did miss. I tend to aim a little low sometimes. And that's no big deal. You can also use horizontal mode if you're not very good at aiming it. So horizontal mode, make sure it's perfectly level. So, again, not as much range as the long range mode, but still, if you can't aim at all, it's better than nothing. So make sure you're trying to hit the center of the block, especially when you're using long range. And that's it. That's high efficiency mining. Very quick, very cheap. Make sure to keep putting torches down. And if you're playing on a peaceful server, it's not as important to light your shafts. If you're not playing on a peaceful, you do because these will spawn lots of monsters. And chances are this will be inside your house somewhere or connected to your house, so you don't want them to walk up your spiral. If you don't have a spiral and you just have this hole to death, then you're fine. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you bring weapons when you come down here. And that's it. So enjoy. This is kind of an intermediate step between early mining and automated mining. So after this, you'll set up quarries. And I'll show you how to make an automatic filtration system that'll just process all your ore for you for free. So you do need the material you get from high efficiency mining to make the equipment for the quarry though. The quarry requires a lot of diamond, a lot of iron, and a lot of power. So you'll need a power system dedicated solely to running the quarry. And that's all. So enjoy. <laughs>